means it's time for me to get groceries at my local H Mart, where I go to get produce, find great deals, and fight off hordes of AFCDs. That stands for Asian Fetishizing Zombie Dudes. Hi there, Oriental Goddess. I'm a woman, not a rug, bitch. Oh, nice. Hi. Busy day. Tons of AFCDs. I can't get green beans without someone screaming at me that their favorite flavor is ube. We should split up. You. Snack aisle. You. Frozen foods. I got meat covered. I'm making sukiyaki tonight. Let's go! Ooh. AFCD headed your way. Classic wave. This one's extra horny. How can you tell? Bad taste in anime. Guaranteed virgin. All he knows is instant ramen and cartoon titties. Konnichiwa. I taught English for a year in Japan. I'm basically a local. Absolutely fucking not. Wait, can you teach me how to wash sushi rice? Please, let me smell you. I'll pay. I work in tech. Date someone whose favorite anime was Naruto. Ma 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 mid motherfucker. Help! Help! They got Jetta. Sauce Isle. I couldn't stop him. He was so persistent, and now she literally can't even. She just wanted a weeknight stir fry. Tell Mint Kaylee. I love her. No! No! Don't go! Not gonna let him get away with this. <laughs> Wait, we? Oh no, fuck this shit. Okay, I'm door dashing dinner. Okay, no, thank you. Jeffrey, are you ready to have your work life and personal life surgically divided? I am so excited to get severed. My friends have been all getting it done and raving about it, big fan. Well, thank you. If you'll head through the door behind you, the procedure will begin. 
Sick lab coat, shee! Miss Cobell, we've been looking at Jeff's brain scans and I don't think that we're going to be able to sever him. Just do it, Chuck! Okay, we'll try. Hi there, you on the table. I wonder if you'd mind taking a brief survey. Five questions. Shall we begin with question one? Who are you? I'm Jeffrey. My mom calls me Sweetums, Papa calls me Son, and my friends call me Jeff the Chef on account of my natural born ability to cook up a good time and eggs. I'm 6'3 in rollerblades, scuba certified, and I would absolutely kill for a bow bun right now. Y'all dim some heads at Lumen or? God damn it. It's not working. I've never seen anything like it. We can't split his consciousness. There isn't quite enough. To split? Yes. What if we try? Who are you? I don't know. Good. Question two. In which U.S. state or territory were you- Psych! <laughs> I was lying to you and I just can't do it because I'm a truth teller, man. Plus, you sound like a gentleman and a scholar. So, doy, I know who I am. I'm Jeffrey. I like my Frenchy fries with rosemary and thyme. I don't think I've ever truly been in love. And my favorite color is orange. Unpopular opinion, I know, but I dig a warm hue. Reminds me of sunsets and shit. <laughs> what if we try coming in at a different angle? It's worth a shot. Name any U.S. state or territory. Easy. I pick Mississippi because I love how on 10 the spelling is, right? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Wow. You know, when I say it out loud, I like it even more because when you spell it, you do say I-P-P. And P-P always makes me laugh. It's so funny, right? What is Mr. Egan's favorite breakfast? Hey, yo, do you think moths ever get jealous of how beautiful butterflies are? Or do you think they're like, nah, I'm totally cool with the older, wiser, dusty aesthetic. I'm allergic to dust. <gasps> Should we do a bar crawl tonight? Who are you? Who are you, man? Let's talk about you. Let's get into it. I mean, is there anyone special in your life? Or... Where did you get Fritos? I don't know. Who are you? I'm here to remind you of the mess you left when you went away. La ba da 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 da. I don't know. Frank, my head hurts, yo. Miss Cobell, we've tried everything. There's something about the way his mind works that just isn't... It's either too simple to split or his identity is too strong. We can't figure it out, but he's unseverable. Yeah, if we keep trying, I'm afraid we'll have a body to hide. Hey fam, I don't want to be annoying, but I think my brain is leaking out of my ears and I can't see or smell anything. Leave us? Jeffrey. Have a seat. Unfortunately, Jeffrey, despite our greatest efforts, we found you impossible to sever. Hmm. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <gasps> <clears throat> well, because you've been such a good sport, We've prepared something special, a consolation. Mail chick. Things come in twos, and Barbie movies are no exception. <sighs> oh, Barbie, I wish you were alive. We could be best friends for real. From the mind of Tim Burton comes a movie we rushed into production to beat Greta Gerwig's release window. Helena Bonham Carter is Barbie. Oh, hello darling, I'm Barbie. And you're my special friend. <laughs> hmm. Well, 
Fuck off, then. Every girl's favorite doll is trying to fit into the real world. I suppose I should get a job now. Am I a chef or am I a vet? Oh. She's the same old-fashioned girl. Hello, darling. Only oh. kind of gothic and macabre. I'm both. Come to the dream house around 11, darling. I'm picking up dinner. Oh, my back. I'm trying to She's a doll with a drinking problem. Oh, shit. Oh, don't touch me. I haven't tried this one yet. This Halloween, your extremely rare, I mean it, practically alive bloody steak. Thanks, darling. Absolutely. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there a doctor in the house? Oh, I'm a doctor. Governor? See Barbie try all sorts of new things. Oh, goody, he's dead. I'm also a mortician. Find her calling. and see some familiar faces. Come on, Kenny. Watch Austin Butler disappear in the role of Ken. Mm -hmm. Critics are saying, oh God, Tim Burton, please stop ruining our childhood. Uh, I do wish you'd speak, Kenny. Is there anything on your mind at all? That's a start. She's becoming a real live woman. Allow me to set the mood. And it's a wild ride for the whole family. This is Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Uh, smooth and smoother. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> now perhaps you can use this hole. Oh. Kenny, yes. Exactly right, Kenny. Tim Burton's Barbie. Life in plastic is bloody fantastic. <sighs> At the end of the day, I just want to cook vegetables that people want to eat. You know, I, I want to make a bell pepper that's as enticing as a Wagyu filet or a foie gras. This is easier said than done. I had to ask myself, why do people like meat? You know, it certainly can't just be the rich taste and the succulent texture. <laughs> no, uh, they like meat because the meat had a past. The meat experienced fear, joy. So. Why can't vegetables? As a child, I loved going to Red Lobster because of the lobster tank. You know, I, I think there's something so divine about on a whim, selecting which individual must die. I think we all deserve to feel like that, you know? We all deserve to feel like gods, <laughs> even vegans. It all starts here. I handsomely pay a local sustainable farmer to give us first pick of the livestock. Thank you, noble beast. Let's dress the carcass. You could say I've always been connected to food. My parents, they wanted a large child, so they fed me a very protein-rich diet. Every night for supper, my father would drop a plate of meat in front of me and say, eat your meat, eat your meat, boy. I didn't taste my first squash until I was 22 years old. And when I bit into it, I immediately came. And now it's your turn. You know, people often ask what gives our potatoes <laughs> such a distinctive flavor. And the answer, of course, is hope. Our potatoes have experienced hope. You're going back home to the farm. <laughs> I'm kidding. These are ready for slaughter. We oui, chef.
chef is a genius. I once saw him yell at some bok choy for three days. At first I thought it was stupid, but it melted in my mouth. He didn't even cook it. Before chef berates them though, we have to ensure they have a sense of self, hence the reflection technique. Look at yourself, look at yourself. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. I've had this conversation with you a million times. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. You will never be lettuce. Avocado is a versatile ingredient, but Chef takes it to another level. We inject it with hormones. Shredded avocado. <laughs> Enough. This is one of our most exciting new dishes. See, it might look like normal kale, but it actually feels. We collaborated with a local laboratory to develop a new variety that actually has nerve endings. You can't tell because it doesn't have a face or a voice, but rest assured, it feels each bite. To be as delicious as meat, you must give a new context to vegetables. The veg must be a participant. It must yearn. It must love. If you want to eat a vegetable so tender that it falls off the bone, then give it bones. If you want a vegetable to fall apart, damage it emotionally. We thrive on innovation. We thrive on pushing boundaries. If you want a chickpea patty or a cob salad, then this is not the place for you. Go to Chili's. Go to Chili's. It's the season finale of Roadkill. I'm Cedric the Moose. Three finalists remain, but which one of them will conquer the rules of the roadway, be seen, be stunning, or be Roadkill? The winner of Roadkill gains the respect of all moose, the models of the forest, wins free travel to the other side of the road, and gets to keep their life. Be seen, be stunning, or be Roadkill. Contestants, this season you've been so stunning that cars couldn't help but see you and swerve. But will you make it through the final challenge? A blind turn! Let's meet our judges. He's serving fish, but he's foul. It's owl! Ooh. Me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hello, my fauna friends. I've got my big ass eyes on you, and that means you will be seen. So cause a scene. <laughs> Ooh, and she's our foxy fluffy friend. It's Fox. Well, Seti, you got me back for season 17. I've been nipped and tucked and pulled so tight an armadillo tried to hump me for Fox's sake. <laughs> oh, yes, you are old. First, crossing the roadway to Lady Bunny's club remix of Little Bunny Foo Foo, it's Rabbit. Yes, bitch, you bunny bitch. Ha, ha, ha. He's a bunny with a body. I eat mammals. <laughs> Little Bunny Foo Foo, more like Bunny did a doo doo. Oh, there's a car. You better be seen. Be stunning. Or be rose. Oh! Hippity <laughs> hop flop. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Easter won't be on its way. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon. Are you ready to take it to the roadway? I'm so sorry, y'all. I started this competition as a small town raccoon a long way from the road. This journey has not been easy, but I never knew I'd make so many amazing friends along the way. Like you, girl, my sweet dear. <laughs> we ain't friends. <laughs> no matter what happens, I know in my heart, I'm a winner. <laughs> What's black and gray and dead all over? Your career. <laughs> oh, dear. Our final contestant, a deer. 
Do you really believe you have what it takes to win roadkill? How do you think I got this far, Cedric? I stay seen and I stay stunning, which is more than I can say about these has-been judges. <gasps> Honey, you'll never have our status. Hmm. You'll never be me. Stunning, tall, rich. Maybe, but I have something you lost a long time ago. My youth. Listen, yeah. I have stopped traffic across international borders. I have been photographed safely, yes, safely, on roadways on the cover of Moose magazine. Moose today and Moose tomorrow. You are a deer. A lowbrow, short-legged, common thing. You think you're serving you, but you're simply serving meals for deer ticks. And when you get chopped, I'll be serving venison. You'll never be a moose, and you'll never be. <laughs> Does it look like I'm bothered? Look at me, I'm skinny. Skinny, oh. honey, stunning. <laughs> That Geo won't even have to take my picture. I'm flattened, pressed, ready for the page, the cover, full play. Evan, now it's time to sleep. Time to count some arrow streams Come to life right on my hand Taking me to dreamland Oh no, this isn't a dream at all It's further from slumber, the farther you fall A place where the Sandman never would dwell not quite dreamland, not quite hell It's sleep limbo Where it's neither sleep nor waking Sleep limbo But your mind is always racing even Though your eyes are closed and you turn out all the lights Time to manifest the things that keep you up at night Should I take a melatonin or an edible instead? My mind is really roaming on some existential dread Like where did Cameron Diaz go? She made vanilla sky and is it the same place that we all go after we die? Back to counting Meryl Streep's Hopefully I'll fall asleep Prada Prime, the prom here comes Sleep limbo Where intrusive thoughts are waiting Sleep limbo And it's so oh so stimulating Even though your eyes are closed You just want to hit the sack the memories I thought I had repressed were flooding back That time I kissed my neighbor in the fourth grade, then he cried Or when I lost my virginity on that slip and slide How much is the confounding interest on my student loans? That time I went down on a guy watching those lovely bones Back to counting Meryl Streep's Hopefully I'll fall asleep Meryl Streep, I, here we go again Sophie's Florence Buster Jane There are Meryl's in the there sky in There the are sky. big tall Julia Childs in the sky Sister Aloysius was suspicious of the priest But her sister, Sister James, turned a cheek to say the least Mrs. Miller had a killer scene, the only one she's in The Academy messed up and should have given her the win Oh no, oh, no. this isn't a dream at all It's further to slumber, the party falls Oh no, no, this isn't a dream at all Further from slumber, the farther you fall and it's time to hit the sack The memories I thought I had were fresh and flooding back Do the moaning myrtle voice Do the moaning myrtle voice Do the moaning, do the moaning, do the moaning myrtle voice I do have feelings, you know Even if I am dead Even though your eyes are closed And you've turned out all the lights Surrender to the many things that keep you up at <clears throat> Another great night's sleep.
Lenny, you're so good at this. Thanks, I played in college. <laughs> ah, you guys! Ah, oh, it's... Oh, owie! Oh my God, Jake, what is Jake, it? Are you okay? Oh, no, I just got stung by a jellyfish. <gasps> ah, it hurts so bad. Oh God, I'll get the lifeguard? No, don't! Please, someone has to be on my face. What? Jake, no one has to do that. But it hurts! Come on! It hurts so bad that you all have to do it. I'm pretty sure that's an urban legend. Plus, none of us have had any water today, so... What? Oh. No water? Well, what do you expect to do if your very good friend gets attacked by an unruly jellyfish and once I mean needs you to pee on them? Ooh, I'll lie down. Oh. So even the short people like Sheila can reach my face with their pee stream. Come on! Everyone take off your swim bottoms and pee on my face and in my mouth. Uh, you want it inside your mouth? Lenny, why are you always challenging me? I'm not. Like, this is a constant theme in our friendship. I bit it in self-defense, and it stung me inside my mouth. Oh, so there's a sting in there too, on the roof of my mouth, and the insides of my cheek, and the back of my throat, and the dangly thing. What are you all waiting for? Do it fine! I'll do it myself. I must pee in my own face in front of you all. Uh, well, you can turn around if you want some privacy. Then how will I know if it's getting in my mouth? How will you not know if it's getting in your mouth? Lenny, this is exactly what I'm oh, talking about. Oh, thank God, about. a lifeguard's coming. Oh, good. Hey, lifeguard. Whoa, I, I, I was just stung by a wily jellyfish and I need you to make the pain go away by peeing on my face and in my mouth. Well, you're in luck. Oh, hell yes, Daddy. Because I brought vinegar. Pour it on the affected areas and it'll neutralize the stings. Trust me, it's better than pee. And that way you don't have to pee on yourself. And I don't have to pee on you either. No one has to pee on anyone here today. Mm. Jake, what the heck? That's litter! Who even cares, Sheila? Jake. What? Do you think that maybe you have a little bit of a pee fetish? What? No, ew, gross, no. I only like dry missionary. Jake, it's okay if you do. Sheila! No, that would be crazy. I told you guys exactly seven times that I got stung by a jellyfish and it just really hurt. You know what really, really, really hurts, Jake? Is the fear that your friends won't accept you for who you are and who you love and what you like to do in the safety and privacy of your own sex life. We're your friends, Jake. We love you. Okay, fine. Yes. Yes, I do want pee on my skin and in my mouth. What's that? Mine. And or someone else's. I've always wanted to do it. I just didn't know how to tell you guys, my dearest friends. So I went and I bought a jellyfish. Oh, oh my God. God. I bought it. And I called all of you and invited you to a fun beach day with camaraderie and laughter. And I waited. I waited until you were sunbathing and playing frisbee. And I went into the ocean and held the purchased jellyfish to my face hard so it would sting me, so I could come back to shore and we could all pee in my face and in my mouth <laughs> in public. Because <laughs> that's just what I like. <laughs> I like the way it feels and tastes. Well, I think that's beautiful. I think you should go for it. Yeah, you do you, buddy. Go off, Jake. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love you, too. Let's do it! <sighs> Don't forget the mouth. <sighs> Here we go! What you get? You need to hydrate. That's neon yellow. Another bride, another June, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason. For making whoopee. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ruby Sapphire, and welcome to the Blue Backwash Lounge. If you were here 30 minutes ago, you saw me take a little spill trying to climb on top of this piano. But it's like my mother used to say, Ruby, you can't let a third degree concussion stop the show. So let's have a good time. <laughs> and don't forget to tip your bartender a little kiss. A little hug. We're getting close to Robin Rugs. Wank, I'm feeling woozy. 
It's been a doozy for making whoopee. Boys? Boys? Guess there's no boys. Tickling the ivories for the last nine years, it's Duke Jasmine. Duke, I must have fallen off this piano at least two dozen times. And how many times did you try to catch me? You fall fast, Ruby. Well, that's true. That's true, ladies and gentlemen. Gravity is not a fan of old Ruby. But sometimes, Duke, I think you might want me dead. Dream of a lover's romance, waning and dining too. Let's have a little romance and smash the kitty cat into soup. Whoops. I'm losing motor functions. Should we call an ambulance? But that's all right. I started in the theater, so I know how to project my voice. And now a brief intermission. Are you OK, lady? I don't know how you all got in my apartment. But I'm glad you're here. Picture a little love mess Down where the roses grow Let's have a little love nest Let's play hide the bone in me Another night, another day And then it's night and back today, that's how days work. Another reason to drop a D in my jacuzzi. While the room's still spinning, I'd like to take a moment and do a quick reverse boopy whoopy. <laughs> no worries, the boys will clean it up. Boys, boys. We must have just missed him. Hello, officer. What seems to be your name? Keith. Hi, Keith. Nice to meet you. <laughs> 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 oh, I knew you were trying to kill me, too. But you haven't seen the last of me. Because we live together, Ruby. <laughs> That's right. Common law married. And you know that if I die, you get to keep all my ankle for that for records. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Oh, oh, this is not what I ordered. Ma'am, I'm here to take you to the hospital. Oh, there are my boys, finally. It's just me. I knew you would come. Just let me buckle up my DeLucas, and I'll be ready to start the show. Two, three, another season, another reason for making Whoopi Scooby Dooby Doo. My name's Zay, I'm from North Carolina. I'm an assistant manager at Popeyes. I have a loving wife and two beautiful children, but they don't know I lead a secret double life. Half the time, I'm the perfect family man, but the other half, I'm Zendaya. <laughs> that can't be true. Holy fucking baloney, it's Zendaya! Look, I know what you're thinking. How can you be Zendaya and work at Popeyes at the same time? Where's she going? Zendaya? 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 It's hard work. I mean, today I gotta learn lines from five different movies. I gotta write an acceptance speech for the Emmys. And on top of that, I gotta figure out a way how to take Daquan off the schedule without putting Derek in OT. First day on the set of Dune. <laughs> Where the fuck my lines at, though? These motherfuckers don't deserve Zendaya. Every day, I got to deal with a whole lot of big personalities. Hey, hey, Alexa Demi, I know you ain't banging on my damn door when I'm taking a shit. The hell you want? We need to talk, Z. Look, all I said was you need some inflection in your damn voice. All right, I didn't mean anything by it. You're more than just a makeup model. All right, you got a good actress inside of you. You're so right, Zendaya. This next take, I'm gonna kill it. All right, bet. Oh, can I get some toilet paper? You. 
Can I show you something real quick? Met Gala. That shit hard, ain't it? Yeah, it's for next year. Yeah, the hours are long and things can get confusing. Like the time I was hanging out with the homies and I forgot to take the wig off. The homies really thought they was hanging out with Zendaya the whole time. Shit made me feel like they like Zendaya more than they like Zay. And I just got tired of keeping secrets from my family. And what hurts me the most is knowing my kids would be so proud if they knew I was being a Spider-Man. Um, a few months ago, I had like a, an identity crisis. I was sick of being her, sick of seeing her face on every poster and every mirror. I couldn't take it anymore. Ah! Ah! I put the Zay in Zendaya. You wanna work at Popeyes? We wanna be at the Grammys. Oh. Tell me to shake it up. You shake it up. Ah! Shit, I had to take a break. Fuck you. I'm Cindy Waterhorn with some breaking news. It has come to our attention that Emmy Award winning actress and singer Zendaya has gone missing. If you have any information regarding her whereabouts, please call her emergency contact located at the Popeyes on Malcolm X Boulevard. It's been six months since I quit Zendaya. Best decision I ever made. I got promoted at Popeyes, and I'm now the assistant weekend manager. I'm really proud of that. You know, I never really told my wife I was Zendaya because honestly, it's none of her fucking business, so. Will Zendaya ever come back? I mean, there's always a chance. And that should do it. Yeah. Okay, let's see if the Home Shopping Network's pet translation collar really works. Yeah. What do you think, Jelly Bean? <laughs> Turn it on. I'm sure they'll ask for more treats. Speak, Jelly Bean, speak. To speak or not to speak, that is the question. When all days before spent seen but not heard, and now, my voice. So, how much there is to speak. Hmm. Is it on the wrong setting? Uh, I don't know. Command me to speak. I command thee to listen. This can't be right. This is getting good. Um. You thieves! You rats! You worse than frigid things! Knew you not my kin? Knew you not my mother, sick with new birth, too weak to parse a babe upon her chest from flesh that wished to snatch them? You crooks! Put first your yearn for what? A comrade? A pelt to place your hands? A hole for scraps? Maybe he's just hungry. Oh. Yeah. Are you hungry, Jelly Bean? <laughs> Did you claim? What a corpse! Okay, but we did give you a But home. did we not provide a hearth? A home? Forsooth. I've never known a warmer grave. Each morning, save for Sundays, you scold my cries as the post thuds upon the doorstep. It is merely the mailman, you tell me. As if I do not know. I know. 
His presence like the ticking of a slow clock, signifying the sedate passage of time. Me, no nearer to freedom, to release. Each night, you laugh as if to salt the wound when before sweet sleep, three times I round my bed. One for father, one for son, and one for Holy Spirit. Three desperate prayers to be brought home. He's Catholic? I don't know. Speak, say you. Ooh. I'm speaking, but for whose ears? <laughs> Shall I make my final exit? No better time than now. Free me, you poison of the nests. <gasps> Grapes are bad for puppies. <gasps> Not much time now. Dog years, it's been said. Our seven to one. Lesser understood is what inflates the time. <laughs> I know now. It's suffering. So dramatic. I'll go get the car. Yeah. Let's go get your stomach pumped again, okay? Come on, Jelly Bean. <laughs> Jenny was misunderstood. Oh, guys, watch this. Hey, Jenny. Nice jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ew. It's like she doesn't care what people think has a whimsical and unique outlook on life. But she would change him forever. Fine, I'll help you study. Under one condition, you have to promise not to fall in love with me. Um, okay. Don't, Greg! I said okay! <sighs> Darn it, Greg, you pulled it out of me. You can't fall in love with me because I'm dying. What? Last summer, I felt this heaviness in my chest. My mom took me to the doctor. They ran all these strange tests and, well. They found out I have a bomb strapped to my chest. I only have two weeks to live. So go ahead, feel sorry for the girl with the bomb strapped to her chest. From <laughs> Nicholas Sparks and director Michael Bay comes a modern love story for the ages. When I'm in my room, my dream of you, you lit the fuse that made my heart go boom boom, heart go boom boom. Featuring the hit single from RCA Records, Heart Go Boom Boom. I don't see you as the girl with a bomb strapped to her chest. I see you as a hot girl with no visible signs of dying except the bomb strapped to her chest. Love brought them together. Make the seconds last gentle. forever if we dance to the ticking in my heart. The ticking of my heart. Don't you dare call the bomb squad. <laughs> but will a bomb blow them apart? Tell me, what am I supposed to do after you're gone? I want you to live, Greg. Live fearlessly. Dance in the rain, jump into the ocean, find a nice girl, and use my death as an anecdote to trick her into marrying you. Because you're such a nice guy. <coughs> and then leave her to have unprotected sex with strange women in Cancun. <laughs> That's right. Blow up her fucking life because you, you deserve it all, Greg Lawson. <laughs> life is for the living. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I love you too, Jenny. A bomb to remember, coming this summer. had an incredible season. I mean, team captain, league's top goal scorer, and today's MVP. How do you do it? Well, guys, I stay focused, and I give 100% every single game. And obviously, I have amazing teammates. Oh, come on. Everybody says that. There's got to be more to it than that. Yeah, what's your secret? Well, I do have a little pregame ritual that I do before every match. You listen to your favorite song? You have a lucky pair of socks? No, well guys, I don't want to bore you with those details. <laughs> Please, tell us. What's your pregame ritual? All right, I'll tell you. It starts at 3.57 a.m., two days before the game. I barrel roll out of bed and grab walk into the bathroom. I brush my teeth with my non-dominant left hand in triangular motions. I spit my spittle in the toilet instead of the sink. And then I rinse my mouth out with the shower head instead of the faucet before I change into my silky sunflower top tropical parrot shorts and my favorite cousin Rosalia's hand-painted wooden clogs that she bought in the Netherlands in 2009. She doesn't know I have them. I convinced her that Delta Airlines lost them. They didn't. But even if she did find out, she wouldn't care because they helped me win games. This is two days before the game? Yes. Then I down 11 and a half raw eggs, shell and all, sip three liters of Mountain Dew Code Red through a silly straw, and whisper a secret I've never told to a living soul into the left ear of my dog, Jelly Bean. I am kind of attracted to Steve Harvey. Then I spend a couple hours in the pouch house. What's the pouch house? The pouch house. It's an apparatus I invented for my pregame ritual that simulates the sensation of being in the womb, but it functions more similarly to a giant kangaroo pouch for humans. So after 98 minutes in there, I get on a train headed to a top secret location. I'm sorry, can I get clarity for one second? Don't ask! On the train, I sit in a completely neutral position facing straight ahead. I don't move, talk, or blink until the train stops. Once I arrive, I proceed to dribble backwards to see Monica. Who's Monica? Is she a ghost? Ooh, I bet she's a ghost. She's my ex. I visit her at the morgue. So she is dead. Where she works, and we recreate the conversation that ended it all. How could you do this to me? All is life, Monica. Kicking that sphere is the only thing that makes me feel alive anymore. So I mean nothing to you. Our four years together? Our matching moon phase tattoos? That night under the waterfall in Peru, it all meant nothing. I won't unchain myself from passion for the trite ideal of love. Call me trite again. Mi amor, me duele tanto romper tu corazón. I love it when he speaks, man. Pero Monica. Tú sabes que tú eres el amor de mi vida. Entonces te lo digo mil veces. Hasta que lleguemos a nuestra última noche final. Bajo la luna cruel. But... Oh. Oh. And then we make love for hours. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> then I get in a cab, put on my cleats, and here we are. A virtuoso. Beautiful. Bravo. Thank you. Uh, now, if there are no further questions, I got to go get started with my post-game ritual. <laughs> oh, Excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> Look at this, this is incredible. <laughs> Presenting Tanya Johnson. She paved her own path by taking what she wanted without consequence. But running away from karma can lead you straight to the intersection of fucking around street and finding out avenue in a town known as the Twilight Zone. No money, no meat. No, no, no. I'm good for it. <laughs> I just left my wallet at home. But you're holding your wallet. Yay! You've got eyes! I'll be right back. Tin Man. Ha! Because you chose the wicked way, I will curse you in this world. Ah, oh, are you trying to spoken word battle? Okay. Back off me, 
some. I'll cut you up like a chef. You should chew some gum with your stank ass breath. I ate that. I may be an ashy. Looking like the fourth gross sister. Proud, proud family. Let me get my lotion. Water. Nature's lubricant. <laughs> Fucking outhouse. Oh my god. Anyways, now I'm nice and hydrated. Ah! Ah! Oh God! Ah! Oh God! Ah! <laughs> Coconut oil, do your thing. <laughs> Must be a display bottle. Okay. <laughs> is this some kind of game? <laughs> ah! Ah! Not that hard. <laughs> Let's go. Ethnic beauty aisle. Hey, hey! What kind of store are you running here? This is anti black don't crack. <laughs> My skin is so dry, it could spark a fire. Clearly, you're crackles. Who said that? Who said that? You! The rhyming bitch! You stay away from me. You stay away from me. <laughs> She moisture. Why is thou forsaken me? This isn't real. I gotta get home. Your skin is amazing. Uh, did you try the powdered donuts from here too? They're so good, right? What? Powdered donuts? Huh? Don't look at me! Don't look at me! <laughs> Oh, baby, babe, baby, baby. Oh, God. Oh, baby, you got any lotion on you? <laughs> Lo Sean. Who's that? What? What in the Sammy Sosa? Baby, baby. No, not Lo Sean. Lotion. Avino. Clarence. Zedaphil. Sarave. Jergen. Cecily. Cocoa butter. Livia. Real butter. Anything. Babe, we've always been ashy. No, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God! I can't move! Lavender patchouli. Tanya thought she could get away with stepping on people with her dry wit. But in the end, the only thing that was truly dry were her crusty ass ankles. Lubrication is important in the twilight zone. Society wants us to be good girls. <laughs> well, that's a shame. I'm entering into my villain era. I do what I please, I won't apologize. If you say please, then I don't empathize. I get what I want, then cut you down a size. Yeah. Go get me some diamonds with a side of fries. Red lips, bad bitch, mascara. I'm in my villain era. Red lips, bad bitch, mascara. I'm in my villain era. Hey, babe, I know it's my turn, but could you do the dishes? It's just, you're so good at it. Plus, I gotta get to ultimate. Well, I'm in the middle of the music video. Thanks, babe.
Even the baddest bitches can be the best at dishes. Plus, I'm happy to help Grant. He's super busy with his frisbee. He sucks at acts of service. That don't matter. I'm a bad bitch. Did I mention I'm a bad bitch? Doing chores makes me a savage. I order what I want and I don't compromise. Does this have nuts or can't eat nuts? Okay, well, never mind. They seem like they're short stuffed, so I'll just eat it then. Every bad bitch all comes with a matching every pen. Girl boss is making paper. We like to spend our stacks. This shit is so expensive. I'll check the discount rack. This shit is still expensive. Something cheaper in the back? Looks like you can't afford us. You're right, I'm going home. Red lips, bad bitch, mascara. I'm in my villain era. Red lips, bad bitch, mascara. I'll read you like a library. If you misgender me, then sweetheart, you can't ride with me. I'm not your queen, your girl, your she, your her. I'll stop you on the curb. Now your pronouns are was and were. Hey, girl. Hi, girl. Uh oh. Oh. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's messy. Sorry. Uh. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> Red lips, bad bitch, mascara Is anyone else cold in here? Just gonna raise the thermostat If that's cool with everyone Is that cool with everyone? If none, no worries I'll just put on a sweater It's bad bitch o'clock It's bad bitch o'clock It's bad bitch o'clock It's bad bitch o'clock Holy tits, five chicks, one dick me like <laughs> Breach. Thank you.